Hello, this is Mighty Owl. There are so many different languages around the world. Even math has its own language. You've already started to learn the language of geometry. We will start with the smallest part of geometry, a point. Points are labeled and named by letters. A, B, C, D. These are four different points. When you have two points, you can connect them with a line segment. Now what's the difference between a line and a line segment? Well, a line segment ends at the points. If we connect point A and point B with a line segment, it has a clear start and end. If we were to connect points C and D with a line, uh, notice that the ends have arrows. This indicates that the line keeps going. A line goes on forever in both directions. Now what if we start at point A and keep going past point B? Well, this is called a ray. A ray has only one end point. When labeling a ray, we start with the point that is the end point and use another point to name it. So this ray is called AB because the end point is at point A and the ray continues through point B. Now let's look at naming and labeling points, line segments, lines, and rays. Which of the following are correct names for the ray? We know that in order to name the ray, we need to start at the end point. X is the end point, so the names must also start with X. We can go from X to Y, giving the ray the name XY. And we can also go from X to Z, giving the name XZ. Now let's look at the other two options to see why they're not correct. Well, YZ is not correct because Y is not the end point. And ZX uses the same letters as one of our correct answers, but it's in the wrong order. The first letter should always be the end point. Hmm, great job naming those rays. Now lines and line segments can have special relationships. Two lines or line segments that cross each other are called intersecting lines. When lines intersect and create a right angle, the, an angle of 90 degrees, they're called perpendicular. And when two lines never intersect, no matter how far the lines extend, those are called parallel lines. When perpendicular lines and parallel lines are combined, they can create some fun shapes, like rectangles. Let's practice identifying special lines. Label the lines as intersecting, parallel, or perpendicular. All right, here we go. Part A shows two lines, and the lines look like they will never intersect. Uh-huh, this makes them parallel lines. Next up is part B. These two lines aren't touching at all. Uh, lines extend forever though, so if we were to extend the lines, they would cross. And this means that they are intersecting lines. And if we extend them, we can see that the angles aren't 90 degrees, so they're not perpendicular. Whew, great work. Now let's keep on going. Part C shows two lines that are crossing. Notice that the angles that they make look like corners or right angles. And since they're crossing at 90 degrees, these are perpendicular lines. Next, we go on to part D. Ah, this one looks like part B. Careful though, notice that these are not lines, but are line segments. And since they are line segments, they cannot be extended. These are just two line segments. They're not intersecting, not parallel, or perpendicular. All right. What do you say we finish up with a mighty challenging problem? Which statement best describes the diagram? A. Ray AB is perpendicular to two line segments, XY and SR, that are parallel. B. Ray AB is parallel to two line segments, XY and SR, that are perpendicular. Line segment AB is perpendicular to two lines, XY and SR, that are parallel. D. Ray AB is perpendicular to two lines, XY and SR, that are parallel. Hmm. Well, three of the statements label AB as a ray, and one labels it as a line segment. Looking at the diagram, there's an end point at A, and it continues through point B. So this means that AB is a ray. So we can cross off statement C. Next, we can look at the relationship between the ray and the other lines, and the ray appears to intersect the lines and form right angles. So this means that ray AB is perpendicular to XY and SR. 
Uh huh. So we can cross off statement B. And it also appears that XY and SR will never intersect. And that means that they are parallel. Now let's look at the two statements we have left, A and D. Uh, statement A labels XY and SR as line segments, while statement D labels XY and SR as lines. Well, if we look at the diagram, we can see that X, Y, S, and R are all endpoint. And this makes X, Y, and S are line segments, not lines. So A is the correct statement. Ooh, that was a doozy. You did a great job learning the language of geometry. Now you're able to identify and label points, lines, line segments, and rays. And we also learned about intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular lines. See you in the next mighty lesson.